this isn't a thing where we just didn't see when I hear the players and I love all the players. I love Cox and I love 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 What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, you know, it is hard being a Dallas Cowboy fan. It is so hard because everything is always so painful. And, you know, we're here with the precipice of Dak Prescott's contract and it kind of hit me a little bit today that the Cowboys are switching tactics in playing the same game um let me read something to you guys okay just 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 listen to me for, for a few moments okay it's 10 a.m and you have a massive assignment due at 11 59 p.m that night have you started well no not yet anyway so what do you do you put everything else aside and focus on finishing that assignment. 11 p.m. rolls around and you're nearly done with it. Um, you're down the home stretch. Finally, at 11.58 p.m., you hit submit. Ah, finally done. But then you think, ah, why do I always leave things to the last minute? You promise yourself next time I won't. Spoiler alert, the same thing always happens. Procrastination seems to be one of the greatest enemies of students. AP fellow Joseph Ferrari, a professor of psychology at DePaul University and pioneer of modern research on the subject, found that uh, it's a common problem. It affects around 20% of adults and 50% of university students. It can be described as the act of unnecessarily postponing decisions or actions when we know we will suffer as a result of it. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Psychologists have found various reasons why people procrastinate, and it's probably not what you think. Studies show some of the drivers of procrastination include low self-confidence, anxiety, and low self-esteem, to name a few. The keys that unite most of these reasons is emotional and mood regulation. Procrastinators will avoid completing the activity due to some form of anxiety there's i want to read the types of procrastinators the worrier does not start a difficult task because they do not believe they will be able to complete the task therefore their logic is not to start the task because they believe they will not feel the anxiety of failure if they do not start so if i never try then i never fail the perfectionist does not start the task because of fear of failure. Specifically, they will not compete the task to perfection. That ain't the Cowboys. The overdoer. This type commits, too many ta commits to too many tasks, failing to prioritize properly, and therefore does not fully compete any task they have committed to. Um, procrastinators who are often driven by boredom and frustration. The crisis maker holds a disbelief that they need stress to perform at their best and they are addicted to living on the edge. That's Jerry Jones, y'all. That is seriously Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones' whole philosophy is deadlines make deals get done. Crisis manager. Holds a belief that they need stress to perform at their best. They are addicted to living on the edge. The dreamer believes they do not need to work hard to achieve their goals. They do not like details that make it hard to implement their new ideas. The defier, a rebel seeking to break the rules. I will say that that one also, too, would be Jerry Jones as well. Because, you know, Jerry Jones likes to get the players in his office and without the agents and just hammer out a deal, you know, because, <laughs> hey, because I'm Jerry Jones and I can I can make this shit up. So I bring this up because what I think we are getting is. Oh, I see it. I see it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us 
spread. Yeah. Run them up. Yeah. This is what he does. This is what he does. The Cowboys are procrastinators that always wait until the last minute to do any damn thing. And because, let's see, I'm trying to remember how the saying was, because it used to be at one of the supply houses that I would go to, your emergency does not cause something or other for me. It, it, because it's an emergency for you, because you procrastinated and waited to order something, doesn't make it my responsibility to fix your problem. If it takes two or four weeks to get the item, just because you forgot it and it's you need it tomorrow does not create an emergency on my standpoint. You're the one that created this problem. You should have planned ahead to do this. And see, here's the problem. We all look and say, Dak is greedy. We all look and say CD is greedy, that Zeke Elliott was greedy. That, and, and because the Cowboys procrastinate, they wait for deals to get done. And when they realize that they're over their head, that it's going to cost them too much, they play on court of public opinion. They use the media to help them try and get a better deal. And here is where we are right now, because the Cowboys, more than anything else, one of the things that I've learned about people with a lot of money that have had money doesn't mean just because you have a lot of money that you're willing to part with said money. In fact, it's just the opposite. They don't want to spend their money. Even if they got tons of it and they can never spend it all, they do not want to spend it. So if it comes to Dak Prescott's contract, They've got to figure, we've got to haggle, we got to get the best deal possible. Possible. And if we don't get that deal, oh, we can't make that deal. We can't make that deal. And then it becomes a problem at the last minute. You'll recall the Cowboys... When they franchise tag Dak Prescott, we heard that they were still trying to negotiate at 359 to get it done and didn't and had to pay him on the franchise tag. So here we are. We're hearing all kinds of stuff. We're seeing outlandish deals that are put out, you know, contract proposals that are put out there from sports track and of course you know we got the media going through and saying the cowboys you know they're they're, they're thinking about not signing Dak. there's no meetings or anything else they're trying to do this to try to get a better deal from Dak. you're trying to make him look like the greedy one and the person to blame you're going to try and say well we wanted to go all in but see Dak wasn't a team player and see in the end I hate bullshit. Don't bullshit me. Don't piss on my head and tell me it's raining. Don't try and make me look like the bad guy to give you a break. What you do, I would rather, if you came to me and said, listen, <laughs> hey, Dak, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you've you done everything we've asked except win that Super Bowl. And, you know, I can't blame it all on you either because, you know, when we got a 207-pound linebacker <laughs> and we screwed the pooch there with Mozzie, you know, I'm not paying for my storage unit, Smith. <laughs> and, you know, your offensive line that, that's, that got you sacked 39 times. And, oh, then I got rid of your buddy Zeke Elliott there and didn't replace him but with the gadget guy who's best suited at about 12 carries a game you know i can't put it all on you but here's the thing we we made those mistakes and such and we want to rectify them Rect, rect, rectify that's kind of a funny word rectify <laughs> rectify them <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a different word right there. Rectify them. We want to rectify them, all right. We want to rectify the things that we screwed the pooch. Wait a minute. What screwed the pooch? Rectify. <laughs> you see what I did there, son? You see what I Okay. Um, sorry, I digress here. We want to fix those problems. And the only way we can do it is we need some of that money. We, you know, I love that money. Give me some more of that money. But, Dak, see, we, we bullshitted you over the years, man. You know, we've made a lot of money. Jack, we've made a lot of money, buddy. We've made a lot of money. But right now, we want to win a Super Bowl. And, you know, if you get that Super Bowl here with the Dallas Cowboys, you'll be right up there with, with the Roger Staubach, Captain America. You'll be up there with Troy. I hate him, Aikman. You'll be right there. And you know you know how much endorsement money you'd get if you were a Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl winning. Oh, boy. You know, <laughs> you could park a yacht right beside mine, <laughs> 330 feet long. Out of chump chains that you got in your side pocket, son. So I need you. I need you. To work with me here, okay? Let's get a deal that's longer, okay? We'll put on some extra avoidable years. We'll go ahead and we'll backload these things because we know we're going to be getting so much money from that damn gambling. Oh, that gambling money. And then, you know, we're going to be in Brazil this year. And who knows what countries we'll be in in a couple years from now. But we need some help from you. And we believe in you. And we want to give you some support. How about trying that instead of trashing the man and telling him out in the court of public opinion that, you know, we need you to take a smaller piece of the pie. Instead of dragging him through the mud, try and say, we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's actually going on here. They know. That if they have any hopes, and, and believe me, I, I'm, I'm going through all kinds of emotions right now with the Cowboys. I am going through all kinds of emotions because it's a, literally a roller coaster ride of the news that you get. Jerry Jones knows we're wrapped around his finger. Just looking for a reason to hope. Looking for a reason to be, we them boys, we going to the Super Bowl and shit. I'm just tired of them bullshitting. Just tell me like it is, you know? Just tell me what it is. Don't beat around the bush. Just tell me what your plan is. Just don't bullshit me anymore. But I think they're trying to get themselves a better deal with Dak. And I can't say that I necessarily blame them, but I can look and say nobody else in the NFL, goes through this. We have seen, what, four, five, 50 million plus contracts this past year? Ain't nobody him at all. No, and don't give me this, well, Dak ain't had playoff success. Are you telling me Justin Herbert has? Are you telling me that Lamar Jackson's had a ton of playoff success? Are you telling me that Josh Allen is, you know, that, that one AF that, that going one game further than Dak Prescott with all of his NFL leading turnovers is that much better that you don't bat an eye about how much he gets paid? Come on, man. Let's be real here. Let's get this shit done. And sooner than later and stop freaking procrastinating. Get it done. Get it done and try to actually do something for once instead of bullshitting. Don't wait till the last damn minute. All right, good people. As always, you know I appreciate you. And um, whew, that's all I can say is whew. see you guys at 3 o'clock for our live stream. Peace out.